MIUI 11 beta has been out for a while for different Xiaomi devices. Now you can download and install a MIUI 11 beta on any Xiaomi device for free. In this video, I will help you to try out initial build of MIUI 11 beta on any compatible device. This is going to be a step-by-step -step installation guide. If you follow this guide carefully, by the end of the video, you will learn how to install a MIUI 11 beta on your device. Keep in mind, MIUI 11 beta has been released only for the phones which was released in China. So the ROM which you're going to install is a Chinese based version and you need to sideload Google Play Store and Play Services if you want to download the apps from the Google Play Store. The features may be limited when you get compared to the global ROM since the ROM is targeted for the Chinese market and the language support is only limited to English and Chinese. If you are interested in trying it out right now and you have a relatively a recent device, you can download the beta MIUI 11 build based on both Android 7 through Android 10 depending on the device you are having. These are all recovery based ROMs meaning that you can easily flash them using TWRP custom recovery. With that said, the prerequisites are you need an unlocked bootloader a TWRP custom recovery has installed. If you don't know how to do this, then Google is your best friend just search for your specific droid and follow the videos on YouTube or refer XDA for more information alright guys so as you can see for the demonstration purposes I will be using my Redmi K20 Pro so in this video I'm gonna show you how to install MIUI 11 beta on the Redmi K20 Pro so the process is gonna be the same for any Xiaomi device and you need to follow the guide carefully till to the end without missing any part of the video and if you do by the end of this video you will learn how to install MIUI 11 beta first look on your specific Xiaomi device so by the way I already have have an unlocked bootloader so let me show you that thing by going into the settings additional settings and developer options and then you can see the me unlock status it says the device is unlocked so if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader just gonna go ahead and search on the Google and you're gonna find a lot of videos for your specific device as well as I already have a TWRP custom recovery has installed on this phone so now once everything is set and you have qualified the prerequisites then jump back to the main page of the settings then click on the about phone and as you can see by the time of recording this video I am running the global stable ROM on my Redmi K20 Pro so which is a 10.3.5 so if you are on the latest version so if you see any updates just gonna go ahead and update it so uh, as you can see 10.3.5 is the latest version so make sure that you need to run the global stable ROM on any Xiaomi device so that's very important so just gonna go ahead and then go to the system update and then find the updates if you see anything just gonna go ahead and update it now once everything is set and you go back to the main page of the settings once you go back to the main page of settings, just gonna go ahead and sign up from the me account as well as the Google accounts and remove the lock screen passwords, fingerprints, pins, face unlock, everything just to be uh, on a safer side so that we're not gonna be running into any encryption errors. So once everything is set, now go ahead and check the link in the description box down below and then that link will gonna be take you to this page where you're gonna download a firmware for your specific Xiaomi device. So in this case, the me 11 beta is only available for a few devices which was released in China if you don't see your device listed here well don't worry me 11 we're gonna be coming up for your device for example you can take a look at the Poco F1 is not here because the Poco F1 wasn't released in China and that's the reason the Poco F1 is not listed here that doesn't mean the Poco F1 is not getting me 11 Xiaomi has officially announced it will be getting the me 11 in October so anyway guys um, I'm gonna choose the Redmi K20 Pro just gonna go ahead and click on the download button so once it's done downloading the ROM just gonna go ahead and place it on your phone so as you can see this is the ROM it says 9.9.26 this is a MIUI 11 based on Android 10 just gonna go ahead and place it on your internal storage so once everything is done make sure that you're having the battery percentage 70% or higher and also back up the entire data so this process requires a clean installation method which means everything will be gone so just gonna go ahead back up your internal story the photos videos contacts everything is gonna go ahead and back up to your computer so once everything is set now we're gonna need to put into the TWRP recovery mode so 
Now, once everything is set, now we need to boot your device into the TWRP recovery mode. To do so, hold the power button. So then you're gonna see this uh, controls here. Just gonna click on the reboot. While rebooting your phone, keep holding the uh, volume up button for a while and then your device should boot into the keep holding it until you see the TWRP recovery logo on the a screen here so once you see the TWRP recovery logo now just gonna go to release it now we are in the TWRP recovery just gonna go ahead first thing first back up the current state of the ROM so as you can see Redmi K20 Pro is having a touch issues with the TWRP recovery just gonna go to back up the boot folder, the DTBO, as well as system image, and then back up and move this back up to the computer. So because we need, we will be performing a factory reset. So that means the whole internal storage will be gone. So just gonna go ahead and click on the backup. Once the backup is made, hook up your USB cable and then back up the TWRP folder into your computer. So you can use that backup later if something goes wrong. So I already did that and I'm not gonna be doing that again. So once everything is set, now go ahead, click on the uh, wipe option, then click on the advanced wipe, then click on the Delvic cache system vendor data. So in some devices, you may not gonna be see the vendor, it's okay, but the Redmi K20 Pro, you can see the vendor. You need to wipe the vendor partition also, just gonna go ahead and select all five partitions. Don't select the internal storage, then swipe to wipe. Now, once you do that, swipe to wipe. Now go ahead, click on the install button, then you're gonna see the uh, MIUI Rafale. Just gonna go ahead and select that thing and then swipe to confirm flash. Now you can see it's actually flashing. By the way, my device is an Indian variant device. It doesn't matter if you're flashing the Rafale on the Rafale device, so it's gonna be flashing. So both phones don't have a much differences. So both phones are having the same Snapdragon 855 chipset, but the regions are different. So you're just gonna go ahead and you can see it's actually flashing it. And it's gonna take some time. Uh, once everything is done, I will be right back with you guys. All right guys, now you can see it's successfully done flashing it. So once it's done, just gonna go back to the home, then you click on the wipe option, then select format data and type yes. This will gonna be wipe the internal storage and it will remove the encryption. So that's very important step you need to do. Just gonna click on yes, and then it's gonna perform that thing and leave it a moment. Now once it's done, then click on the reboot. Now you need to reboot back to the recovery before rebooting into the system. So that's very really important. As you can see, it's actually taking some time. So don't worry, the K20 Pro will gonna take us some time and it's gonna be boot back to TWRP recovery. All right, so once it's done, booting into the back recovery, just gonna click on the reboot, and this time, reboot back to the system. So now, your phone should boot into the MIUI 11, and this should gonna take a few moments, and uh, at this point, you can see, powered by Android, if you see that thing, the boot process will be a success. If you don't see that thing, you're gonna be stuck in the boot loop. If you're stuck in such issues, or you have soft break your phone, you can watch the video in the link in the description down below. That will gonna fix almost any issues on your device, especially the soft break issues by flashing the fast boot ROM. Just gonna go ahead and watch that video. And I'm gonna leave this phone for a while. So Alright guys, now we have successfully done booting into the MIUI 11. Let me show you the version by going into the settings, about phone and my device. You can see 
all specifications you can see redmi k20 pro and me u11 9.9.26 and it is based on android 10 so if you want to know more about me u11 what's new in it and top features of me u11 just gonna go ahead and watch that video by clicking on the card here or check the link in the description box down below so once you're done installing this thing so you can see there is no google play store or google play services just gonna go ahead and get that from the link in the description down below and then you install it on your device and everything will be working fine so that's pretty much it guys this is how you install miu 11 on any xiaomi device so it's up to you guys if you want to install it or not uh, make sure that you back up all the things because everything will be gone so if you don't want to take a risk just wait for till october then you're going to get the official release in india so that's it guys thanks for watching this is your host ksk royal peace out